Okay, so in this video I will show you how you can create this plastic wrap effect over any object that you might have using Redshift and Collision Deformer and that's about it. Okay, so first I will create this disk um, just because my subject here is a plate and it's round and the disk shape will do. I will increase the rotation segments and I will increase uh, the disk segments. Um, I will later maybe increase this even more, but for now this will do. Now I will search for this collider deformer, collision deformer, hold on shift, enter. And now if I go in this colliders tab, I will drag both of these uh, objects in there. Uh, actually I don't think I can, I need to drag them one by one. And I, if I increase this to um, inside stretch, you can see that this is already covering um, this scene here. Now let me just create a material which is going to simply be a glass material and I will apply this to the disk here and as you can see this is uh, working just fine. You can see here that it's, um, it's, it's already have, uh, having this effect of this plastic wrap. Now I will go in this uh, advanced tab and increase this relaxed because as you can see this will bring this wrap up and uh, I think that this gives it a more natural feel. It, it kind of gives you this uh, feeling that it has been placed over it. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in my node window here. I'm gonna zoom in and create a... no, I will just take this material and we'll uh, move this to the side and I want to create kind of these uh, lines here which uh, give you the feeling that it has been uh, stretched and it's been placed and it's under uh, tension. So for that what I'm gonna need is I'm gonna search for this um, displacement node first of all then I'm gonna search for maxon noise maxon noise I'm going to connect this to the texture text map and this one to the displacement. And if I uh, click the solo button here, you can see how this noise looks. Now I will change this to UV vertex and I will go in my uh, material which is applied to the disk and change this to spherical. And now if I increase um, this scale here, you can see that the lines, they come from the top and they go down. Now if I apply a redshift object tag to my disk and enable this displacement and click this button again, you will see that no, it's not working yet. Why isn't it working? Uh, oh, actually, I think it is working. It's just not as visible as I hoped it would be. So I will drag this uh, scale down. And as you can see, if you drag it to the uh, minus side, it kind of goes um, closer to the object. And that's it. You can change the overall scale of this uh, to something smaller. As you can see, it seems like there are more of these... Um, waves and lines and you can change this amount the height scale to whatever you think looks best and as always if you enjoyed this tutorial please write some comments and uh, subscribe and you know if you have any questions or ideas on what you want to see next uh, yeah please follow me on my instagram and write uh, a message